With six, Georgia is taking its fight against the opioid crisis to what it considers the source of the problem, the makers and the distributors. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey explains. Joe? When Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr's lawsuit filed today, the state argues Georgia is in an opioid crisis fueled by drug companies acting unlawfully while generating billions of dollars in drug sales. A list of drug companies are named as defendants in the suit. Carr's office filed the lawsuit in, Jordan, in Gwinnett County and is requesting a jury trial. The state is arguing opioid distributors failed to monitor, report, investigate, or prevent suspicious drug orders from being fulfilled. Carr believes this led to dangerous opioids being used for illegitimate or non-medical reasons. It is also also argued the defendants participated in racketeering activity, false advertising, and several other crimes. Now, around Georgia and the rest of the uh, country, opioids have led to drug addiction and deaths. In a statement, Carr wrote, no Georgia community is a stranger to the devastating effects of the opioid crisis. We are bringing this lawsuit quite simply to seek justice for the citizens of Georgia. It is imperative that we recover for the widespread damage that has been caused by this epidemic. Now, a request is made in the civil lawsuit for the state to be awarded financial compensation that covers all damages under Georgia law. But an exact dollar amount is not named in the suit. The state, the state, excuse me, does claim, though, health care costs alone for opioid misuse in Georgia were estimated at $450 million in 2007. And since then, of course, the number of deaths, overdoses, and hospitalizations have all exploded. Jeff. Joe, thank you. Our docu